people hold the doctrine that after the apostles died or left, were out of the sin, the office of the apostles ceased with them. Some people teach that as a doctrine, but that's not correct. And I'm going to show it, I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, the first question in looking at whether this doctrine is correct or not is to ask ourselves the question. The gifts of the Spirit, the Bible says in Ephesians 4.11, was given to the body. It's a gift to the body of Christ. That's number one. Number two, we need to ask ourselves the question, what are the gifts for? Number one, for the perfecting of the saints. The word perfecting means for the training, for the equipping, for the preparation of the saints. So if the gift that was given to prepare the saints has ceased before the saints, then what's, what's the meaning of that? The gift is given for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Are the saints still alive? Is the work of the ministry still ongoing? Is the edifying of the body of Christ, is it still valid? Okay, now if those things are yes, then the gift is still valid. The gift of the apostle is still valid. Some people say, oh, the office of the apostle is gone. Only the 12 apostles were qualified to be called apostles. But that's not correct. Actually, Paul himself said he was an apostle. Even though he did not physically see Jesus, he was not around when Jesus was with the twelve, but he was an apostle. And he was not the only apostle. There were many other apostles. There were some other people after them who were recognized as apostles. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 19. I'm going to read from verse 18. It says, Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. But other of the apostles saw I not. Save James, the Lord's brother. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that James was also an apostle. The brother of Jesus, not the James that was killed, all right, uh, when the, uh, the assembly just started. Okay, but it said James, the Lord's brother. He called him an apostle. What will you say to that? I'm, I'm saying this in love. The Bible says speaking the truth in love. So it's not an argument. It's just the presentation of the truth that this fivefold ministry exists after the 12 disciples left. As a matter of fact, apostleship, the office of the apostle, exists today. The problem I can say right now is that many people do not know uh, the function of the apostle, which I'm going to talk about later on. As long as the body of Christ exists, this gift hands also exist because it's given for a reason. So if you argue that apostles are the people who saw, who are the only one that saw Jesus and they left and the office of the apostles have died, why single out apostles out of five things? You know, one of the, one of the, uh, one of the uh, doctrinal way, one of the ways to look into doctrine in the scriptures is not to separate uh, things that are grouped together. You cannot separate one out of five and say, okay, this one is no longer when the Bible clearly says that it's given as a gift to the body of Christ. The body of Christ exists right now, so the gifts should be relevant. 